we ran across a little something here in South Florida that um, we wanted to make sure all of you coming down from the north, because now is the, the time when all the northerners go, I got to get the hell out of the cold weather, get to Florida and get into the closest mosque I possibly can find. So when you're <laughs> when you're when you're going on Fridays to your your uh, to visit the mosque, because that's why people come to South Florida. We just want to alert you to the uh, to the etiquette, to the, the demeanor necessary when you enter this holy ground. So uh, Imam, Imam Abdullah, who's very friendly with all the uh, mosque the mosque raiding people around here. Um, he has uh, brought forth. What do you have for us today, Imam Abdullah? I have Majid etiquette, uh, as listed by the Islamic Center of South Florida. The Islamic Center of South Florida. That would be similar to the Islamic Center of Long Island. An Islamic Center is what? What do you guys do at an Islamic Center? Is that a mosque? Yes. Oh, okay. It is mosque. Um, children education, adult education. Um, Jew hatred, Christian hatred. Um, <laughs> Talk in the mic. It is a, it is a, the centerpiece for Islamic life. Okay. Islamic, that's why you call it the Islamic Center. Right. Islamic Center, South Florida. But the mosque is holy ground, the Islamic Center? Absolutely. It's like you are a, you are a guest of Allah. Tell us, show us. I mean, look, yeah, when in Rome, uh, in Rome, when in the mosque, in the ra mosque, yes, what do we have, have to respect. do? Please have respect. If you're going to visit, all we ask is that you have respect to come in etiquette for being in a machine. Okay. okay. Let's see what you got. I will what's just your, touch on uh, sev uh, several of uh, the ones that we list, and it make it better for everyone. Okay. Show us okay. what you have. Okay. We're interested. I will go through some very quickly and spend a little more on others. Okay? Okay. Okay. Number okay. one. Okay. 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 Number one. When leaving your home, work or business. Oh, can you put something on the screen so some people oh, yes. can you actually can see it? There we go. That doesn't look <laughs> like it. Oh, you want to see sign? I cannot do both at once. What is this thing here? This is a list of the rules. Oh, my oh, word. Oh, there is the signs. Oh, okay. There is the sign. What is that? What is, that no, is, that makes no nothing in this building. Look at that thing. That is like a poster with all the rules. Oh, okay. Okay, but it is hard for me to read so small. No, no water, no beds, no gasoline, no phones, no cigarettes. No onions. Uh -oh. uh, let me get no. to this. Okay, no, no good. I don't okay. Know. I don't uh, when leaving your home, work or business, go toward the mosque with eagerness and enthusiasm. To run. Yes. Okay. Uh, number two, demonstrate your eagerness by showing good manners, wearing good and neat clothes, being clean, and smelling good. <laughs> oh, number three. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> well, just, uh, just a quick, quick little note there. Being a Christian for 35 years or whatever it is, 30 years, um, Half the churches I have been in, uh, and every legitimate church, I mean, some of the leftist churches are no longer legitimate, they're fake, but real Christian churches, the doors are open for, for people of just a mess. The bums, the homeless. Yeah, just, uh, come on in and we'll help you and we will take care of you well, or whatever. Was, you, know, the, you can yeah. stink as much as you want to stink, and that's the whole idea of a church. But go ahead, you know, maybe a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a difference. You like the okay. smelly people, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number three. <laughs> Brothers should wear proper attire before entering the masjid. Sisters, Sisters should wear hijab at all time. Cover body with loose clothes, no tight dresses or pants allowed. Uh, their clothes should show modesty and haya. Long skirts are permissible as long as they are long enough to cover down to the ankles and they are not too tight to show the shape of the body. You can't show the shape of the body? No. It make us crazy and make the men crazy. <laughs> We're there to praise Allah, not look at women. Did Allah make a woman's body? Yes. Is he ashamed of it? No. Okay. But, but it it is, so we are not distracted. So well, well, so it's it's the woman's responsibility to, to dress in a manner to not drive the men crazy. Yes. Or to go outside where they could possibly be. Because accosted. the men have no, no, no control over their Absolutely action. Absolutely none. I'm sorry to say we have no, we cannot control ourselves. We're animals. So, Not so, like pigs and apes animals, but you know. So if a woman dresses provocatively, it is not This isn't fault. even provocative. Well, no, this no. is a big well, bag no. over oh, the That lady. is provocative. If it showed the shape, it's provocative. Well, that's what I'm saying. Because if you show the hair, that's provocative. can drive you guys crazy. Crazy. Today. On the college campus, 
uh, some of these young women had uh, hijabs on that looked like uh, they were made in, in Italy, you know, at designer shops, and with, with makeup that looks like they walked out of Vogue magazine. They couldn't look more beautiful. Oh, they, you must be talking about the sluts. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? To, no. To, no, 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 not in a, not in a real mask. Because that would drive you guys crazy. Crazy. If there was, okay. yeah, right. All, right. All right, keep going with your rules. Okay. Right. We're, we're trying to, five. we're trying That's to understand insane. and help the people up north who want to visit the Islamic Center in South Florida and spend quite a bit of time there. Sounds like a okay. This Fun place. For your people. Hey, all right, keep going. Go ahead. Uh, number five, and this is for the people that eat, uh, like to eat your people's food in particular. Um, if you have eaten garlic, onions, etc., uh, do not go to the mosque until the odor from your mouth has vanished. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, put this screen up. I got to see if that's actually written down. So no onion. I uh, make big. So okay, let let let's say. Um, I had a bunch of no, a bunch of my relatives down. Let's say I had a bunch of my relatives down from uh, New Jersey, and we ate um, sausage and peppers and onions and garlic and macaroni and just you know normal regular Italian food. And we all get in the car. We all smell like garlic. We're all in our Cadillac. <laughs> We're in the Cadillac. We're in the caddy. In the caddy. Um, we drive down there and. <laughs> They go, where are we going? We're going to the mosque, man. We're going to go hang out at the mosque. Well, what about the track? No, we can't go to the track today. <laughs> Track's closed. What about the casino? I heard there's a casino in Hollywood. No, no, no gambling today. No gambling? No, we're going to the mosque, okay? My family does things a little differently. So we take them. We all smell like a piece of garlic. And we knock on the like door. Like all Italians do. Right? And we knock on the door. And, and my cousin Vinny's there. And, and I, I asked Vinny to... To talk to the uh, to the imam, and Vinny says, "Hey, imam, can we come in?" <laughs> what is the imam gonna say? Not until the altar from your mouth has vanished. Well, you know what my cousin Vinny would tell him then. Hey, imam, I got something for you, imam. He would tell him, Imam, come on out here. Come on out here. We want to talk to you. Come on by the Cadillac, by the back of the Cadillac. I want to show you the trunk. <laughs> Can you help me change my span tire? And if one of my older uncles were there, he would say, this guy has no respect, does he, this Imam? Who's the, who's the this Imam? Has What's no his no respect. He? This Imam's got no respect. Then this... Please show the Imam how you pay your respect. <laughs> So Imam is making a mistake here. What is this? All right, he doesn't have respect. He's welcome in our house, and he doesn't let us in his house. All right, but let's go on. That's maybe my family's a little bit. <laughs> okay. See, because number nine, it is forbidden for the one who is in the state of Hayd menstruation to enter the mosque. Oh, so if you're if if you if you're a woman having your monthly uh, period, period, you're uh, you're not. You're banned, dude. You're you cursed. Can't, you can't go into the mosque. No. What is the reason for that? Well, we, well, why? Because the, imp- well, the woman's impure. Because then the bear is going to come into Mall. <laughs> Could be. Well, you know. They're afraid of bears, that's all. <laughs> well, actually, there, is, there actually is uh, they can a smell it, you know. rationality behind that because the, the woman who's in her menstrual cycle, according to this law book. Oh, uh, you mean Reliance, Reliance the of the Sharia, Traveler? Well, Sharia law written by the Feet Council of North America for all America. Um, English for all speakers. Americans, for yeah. All Americans. I mean, all uh, Muslims. All Muslims, Muslims in America. This book right here. It does state that uh, a woman is should you should not have any sexual relations or any contact with a woman who's in menstruation because she's impure. She's uh, she's she's impure. She's impure. That's very interesting. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. Okay. Um. Dirty. Basically, you're a dirty woman, and a dirty woman should not be able to enter a mosque. Absolutely. Okay. No, poster. Blow the poster, poster up. Yeah. Go even bigger if you can. Oh, I uh, oh, yeah. oh pretty posters. Uh, proper Islamic attire. Uh, of course, I showed the women wearing the jihab. Uh, no short short. No smoking. And then we have the picture <laughs> no, of garlic. Onion. No, I, I have. Ne- is that garlic or onions? That thing. Uh, that looks like. Uh, looks like an onion. 
garlic club. That's garlic. 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 I have never seen a no garlic sign in my. This is the first time in all my years I've ever seen a no garlic sign, and that is. Well, if you got vamp. You can never have an Italian person become a Muslim. 